Hi guys. Just walking down to the beach now with the Vanquish. Hi. Big gullies opened up in the middle there, at Blackpool. Yeah. Let's see what we find. Test the Vanquish's power. Hi guys, so there's the Vanquish set up. Yeah, it's pretty sturdy, it feels nice as well. Um, so I'm going to have a go at that big gully there. All the rocks have been exposed, so hopefully there's some goodies to be had. It is raining though, so um, while I'm filming, I'm going to be talking over the actual recording because once I put the water proof casing on me camera uh, you won't hear me so yeah let's find some stuff hi guys yeah so once I close the casing on me um, camera you can't really hear much but it started pissing down so yeah I didn't want to keep it out so I've got a target there Decent target that as well. I think it was one of those little bullet cases. Tiny ones. We'll have a look. Yeah, I, uh, the second to last time I was on the beach, I snapped me um, the I snapped me shaft <laughs> uh, on me sand scoop. Um, yeah, so I need to mend it. <laughs> well, put a new one on it, and then I can take it back out. Yeah, I couldn't not laugh at snap me shaft, could I? <laughs> uh, oh no, that was the light bulb, yeah. Copper that. Yeah, I did two two live ones and then for the rest of them I just got them out first and then put on what it was like. I wanted to dig as many holes as I could because I only had an hour and a half like. Yeah. I think this was one of those little tiny bullets. It's a little tiny bullet casing, they're really small. the signals from him it was amazing it was like just a really strong signal for something so little and the depth of it um, yeah I was, I was pretty amazed by it to be honest Nope, wrong again. <laughs> Just a, another bit of copper. I'm pretty sure that was off an old Victorian lipstick. I found a few of them before. It's like the top of it. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Sometimes they have writing on them. Uh, looks like fancy writing. Sometimes they don't, but there's one of them things. Really 
tiny target but it was a really good signal and for a highly mineralized salt beach. Hey guys, so that's yeah. everything I got um, from the beach today. I stopped filming, I found a lot more but I just I just cracked on with it. So yeah, I was really surprised at the uh, performance of it. Found all sorts. These though, got them at such a good depth like they're old um, little tiny bullet casings yeah so a few exploded one two peas whatever one p big old one penny I like them um, oh just dobby uh, cheers mate Yes. Yeah, he's funny. Um, I got a a little badge. It's like a clip or something in the shape of a golf club. On the back it says, "What does it say?" Imitation made in England and something else that I can't quite make out. Uh, I did find that. It's lead. It's like an old seal or something, but it says something on it, but I don't really want to open it because I think I might um, snap it in half or something. But yeah, that's cool. Um. I don't know what that is. It's like it could have been off a handle or like an old cupboard or something. A bit of copper stuck on that rock. Uh, that is, it's just a fishing hook but it's got lead in it. Yeah, it's really heavy. Yeah, so that was just an hour and a half detecting light. Um, but I didn't find any iron. No iron whatsoever. It was dead quiet. I tried it in the water. Uh, tried it in the wet sand, dry sand. Tried it in the clay. Tried it on the black sand. It was perfect. Yeah, I was really impressed. Really impressed with it. Yeah, so... Yeah, I'm going again tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Well... I opened it up. I've just done it. Yeah, it's, it says a. Uh, it says, Enos. Truth and light. Fruit salt or something. Yeah, that's weird, isn't it? I have to look up on that. If I find out, I'll. Uh, at the end of the video. Yeah, cool.